Directors of UK limited companies will usually extract their income from a company in one of three ways. If they're an employee, they'll take it out as a wage slash salary. If they're a shareholder, they'll take it out as a dividend. Or alternatively, they'll take it out as a loan. More often than not, they'll take their money out as a mixture of those three ways. And this is beneficial for tax purposes. A lot of the drawings I come across are a mixture of wages and dividends. In order for a dividend to be drawn lawfully, the company needs to have sufficient reserves to be able to pay one. And what that means is, after taking the profits for the company and allowing for all of its liabilities, including contingent liabilities, there should be a surplus available. The board of directors will need to pass resolutions approving proposed dividends. Proper minutes of those meetings need to be produced and retained as part of the company's formal records. Tax certificates should be issued to those shareholders that have received a dividend and then the shareholders should declare those dividends in their tax returns and pay the relevant taxes on them. Often the accountants will assist the company and the shareholders with all of this paperwork to ensure that everything is done above board. But what can happen with some companies is they will only have their accounts done once a year, potentially nine months after the company's year ends ended. And this is fine if everything's been done properly and the accountants can retrospectively do what they need to be done. But this is potentially an issue when the company becomes insolvent. What often happens in practice is directors merrily continue to take their dividends regularly without bothering to check whether or not the company has sufficient reserves in order to make those dividends lawful. And so it's only when the accountants come to do those end of year accounts that they realise the company had insufficient reserves for them to draw those dividends. That renders those dividends unlawful. They therefore get converted into what's called a director's loan. And that means, as it was a loan, it has to be repaid from the director back to the company. This can cause the directors a real headache if their company enters liquidation because often they'll have a director's loan account that they didn't realise they had. The liquidator has a statutory duty to do an investigation into the company transactions and so if they discover that there's an outstanding overdrawn director's loan account, they're going to then look to the directors to repay that and that often comes as a real shock. See my separate video on that for more information. Thank you.